Monk, the mayor needs your help again. He's got a friend whose kid was killed down in Mexico, a kid named Chip Rosati. What happened? Skydiving accident? His chute didn't open? No, he drowned. Did he land in the ocean? No, look. Apparently, the kid jumped out of an airplane and he drowned in midair. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Hardly any, really. Which is why the mayor wants you to go down there and look into it. It's right up your very unique alley. Senor Monk? Uh -huh. Senorita Fleming? Bienvenidos. I am Captain Alameda. This is Lieutenant Plato. Senorita Fleming, welcome to Mexico. Oh, well, thank you for inviting us. We didn't invite you. In fact, you are wasting your time. We are going to be making an arrest on this case very soon. You have a suspect? Not yet, but we have a theory. What's that? Drugs. Drugs? It is always about the drugs. Well, his parents swore he was clean. Uh, the most he ever had were a couple of beers. Mm. Captain, how do you explain the cause of death? He drowned in midair? I don't know. <laughs> I admit it sounds baffling, but at the end of the day, you will see. It was drugs. Catastrophic injuries, both internal and external. Consistent with a fall from a great height. Plus, his blood was hypertonic, and there was a pint of water in each lung. In other words, he drowned. Was he drugged? Oh, no, no. No drugs, no alcohol, no signs of force. Time of death? There was zero lividity, no rigor mortis. He died just before impact. His case is even stranger than the one last year. Oh, what happened last year? Another unusual death. An American student was uh, mauled by a wild lion. A wild lion? What, did he escape from the circus? Uh, that was the puzzle. There was no circus. A wild lion in Mexico? It was definitely a lion. I did the autopsy myself. It was drug-related somehow. I am <laughs> sure of it. I'm sure you're right. When did the coroner, Dr. Matero, first arrive in San Macros? Wait, don't tell me. A year and a half ago. That's right. But what does Madero have to do with all this? I didn't catch it before. Because I'm so damn thirsty. Smell this. Menthol. Madero uses mentholated cream when he works at the morgue. Go find Dr. Madero and bring him here, rapido. Dr. Navarra, I believe that's your real name. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about homicide, doctor. I was just explaining to the captain why you killed Chip Rosati. Capitán, usted no puede creer lo que este hombre está diciendo, eh? This whole thing has been about me from the beginning, hasn't it? About you? You wanted to kill me. You blamed me for ruining your life by testifying against you. But you couldn't return to the States. You're a wanted man. So you had to find a way to get me to come to you. You needed the right bait. A kid from San Francisco whose family had money and connections. If the murder was difficult enough and mysterious enough, you knew the mayor would bring me in. It's true. He's the go-to guy. You went to the Grande Lago Resort and you found Chip Rosati. He was a thirsty victim. Adrian. I mean, a perfect victim. His family was rich and well-connected. You sent him a letter with a coupon for one free skydiving lesson. But first, you made sure that his parachute would never open. When Chip Rosati's body was brought in, the good doctor poured water into his lungs and announced that the boy had mysteriously drowned. He knew that the mayor often asked me to look into cases like this. You said you ruined my life. That is wrong. You stole it. I made one foolish mistake. Nobody even noticed. Who the hell are you to point your finger at me? Who is he? He is a police officer and a damn fine one. Keep your eye on him, Lieutenant. He is a primary suspect on two homicides. Actually, three, three homicides. Don't forget the boy he killed last year. Die! The wild lion? Exactly. He fabricated that too. Only it didn't work, so no one called me. So we waited a year and tried again. All this because you smelled menthol cream on the curtains? So I've been thinking about Madero for a while. He claimed he had never been to the United States, but then he said there was a pint of water in the boy's lungs. He didn't say half a liter, he said a pint. Only a person who practiced in the United States would have said that. It's jungle out there. 
disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle.